Mastering phrasal verbs. Talk like a native. Hello, language learners. Today we're diving into the world of phrasal verbs, focusing on how to use them in everyday conversations. Mastering phrasal verbs can be challenging, but it's a key aspect of sounding more natural in English. Let's dive right in. Phrasal verbs are verbs combined with one or more words, usually prepositions or adverbs. This combination creates a new verb with a completely different meaning. For example, the verb to give up means to quit, which is quite different from just give. Phrasal verbs can be tricky because they are not always obvious in meaning. For instance, to turn down, something doesn't involve any actual turning, it means to reject something. Phrasal verbs are used all the time in English, especially in informal conversations. They can make your English sound more fluent and natural. Not using them can make your speech sound more formal or even robotic. Therefore, getting familiar with these expressions is vital for your English learning journey. Let's look at some examples of how you might use phrasal verbs in everyday conversations. Hey, can you pick me up at the airport? Here, pick me up, means to come and get someone from a location. I need to hand in my assignment tomorrow. In this case, hand in, means to submit something. I think I'm going to give up smoking. Give up, here means to quit or stop doing something. Remember, it's not enough to just understand the meanings of these phrasal verbs. Practice using them in real sentences to get the hang of it. 1. Contextual learning. Try to learn and understand phrasal verbs within sentences or dialogues, rather than memorizing them individually. This can help you get a better feel for how they're used in real conversations. 2. Practice. As with any language learning, practice makes perfect. Use them in your daily conversations, in writing, or even think in English using phrasal verbs. 3. Don't overdo it. While phrasal verbs can make your English sound more natural, using too many can make your speech sound unnatural or forced. As always, balance is key. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into using phrasal verbs in conversations. Remember, practice is crucial. So, try to use these in your daily life to sound more like a native speaker. Keep up the great work, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Happy learning!